Prostate cancer is actually quite common. We see about one in eight men over the course of their lifetime will develop prostate cancer. It's important to note though that among African American men, about one in five or one in six will have it. So they're often diagnosed more frequently and oftentimes with more aggressive disease. Most men don't know they have prostate cancer. It's usually asymptomatic until it becomes progressed where they start to have bone pain and they may have difficulty with urination, but the majority of localized prostate cancer has no symptoms at all. So that's why screening is so important. Screening typically involves a, a, what we call a digital rectal exam where we feel the prostate with our finger as well as a blood test called a PSA blood test. And that's the two most common ways to screen for it. So that's why screening in the early stages is, is key because we find it before it causes these symptoms before it's advanced. The cause of prostate cancer is much debate. So certainly age is the biggest risk factor. So majority of men that get prostate cancer will be in their 60s, 70s, and 80s. But we do think that obesity, inflammation may cause prostate cancer. So certainly those, those sort of modifiable risk factors are likely involved with prostate cancer. But there certainly is a hereditary uh, aspect of prostate cancer as well. Men that have a history of prostate cancer will often get them in for screening earlier than the general population, which typically is in the early 50s. African Americans, you know, late 40s, we often get them in for, for their first screening test. Anything caught earlier has, has a much better chance, like most cancers, with surviving it. There's a big spectrum in terms of treatment. So if it's localized, we typically offer radiation or active surveillance, which is monitoring if it's low grade and low volume, or surgery where we remove the prostate. So in the early stages in the local disease, it's, it's not difficult to treat. It's important to understand when and how to treat it and give people options. Um, once it gets more advanced, it's, it's difficult to cure, but it's not difficult to treat. And what I mean by that is, is we can suppress the prostate cancer with different medications. We don't have any strict sort of prevention of prostate cancer other than early screening, just so we detect it early. I typically tell men if you want to live long and you want to hopefully help your prostate cancer if you have it, I mean cardiovascular risk factors are always the biggest ones and even among men that have prostate cancer, number one cause of mortality is still cardiovascular. So I think living an active uh, healthy lifestyle uh, in general is key, particularly if you're diagnosed with prostate cancer.